We are back covering season eight's most insane myths, starting with one everyone wants to know, can you still float to the sky barrier in season eight? All right, so obviously the caretakers are the newest addition to Fortnite, and of course, just like every other new feature, it completely breaks the game. Oh, it worked. It worked! I'm floating! What's going on? Ah! It's weird. It looks like I'm about to shoot a shockwave launcher or something like that, but I, I, I don't know what's going on. Why am I just invisible floating above lazy? Yo, you glitched into the sky. I'm, I'm not stopping, dude. I don't know what's going on. I'm, all right, I'm gonna try to exit the trash can. Let's see what happens. Ready? Left click. Hey, let's get out of here. I'm stuck. Oh, oh no! Thought oh! he just missed me or something? I mean, I never expected to get a free trip to space. So I guess this myth is confirmed. What is the fastest way to run in Fortnite? Okay, so the new sideways scythe is a really fun weapon, but there's one feature on the site that is extremely underrated, and that is the dash attack. You go insanely fast, so we wanted to see just how fast. All right, we just gotta limber up for the race. Just gotta make sure I stretch my hamstrings. I hate when I don't have a car, so we're gonna figure out exactly what the fastest way to run in Fortnite is, the pepper versus scythe. When I count down from three, I want you to open up the lane. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Woo, back to speed. Woo, head start, I'm come on, run. I'm dating. No. Let's go, come on, I'm almost there, come on. No, no. Scythe, let's go. Let's go, I win. Dude, okay, the scythe kind of OP, not gonna lie. I guess if you want the numbers. Okay, now we're gonna figure out which one is faster on the speedometer, you ready? All right, go. Looks like 27. All right, not bad, not bad. Ready, and here we go. Ah! 42, oh let's my. go! Yeah, as you can see, absolutely no denying that the size speed is unrivaled, and this myth is confirmed. Can the caretaker one-shot armored walls? So it takes you to space if you're in a dumpster, but what happens if you're chilling inside some armored walls when the caretaker comes to play? What's stronger, the armored walls or the caretaker? And I kind of have a bad gut feeling about this, but all right, guys, I am boxed up, okay? Not even my gold scar will do any damage to this thing. Let's figure out what the caretaker will do. Ah! Dude, he instantly destroyed it. We are not safe here. We need to go now. All right, let's let us let us try what he does to bring in the sideways. Maybe that's his like little rare ability. Come on, buddy. Let's see just how tough you are. Well, right here. You gonna do something about it? Nope. Wow. Yeah, he instantly destroys the whole thing when he spawns the sideways. But if he tries to smack it or damage it after that, they hold up pretty well. So I guess myth confusted, confirmed busted. And moving on to our next one. Can you broom through armored walls? And so one of my like biggest pet peeves with the armored walls is that, you know, they're so phenomenal what you're trying to heal, right? Nobody could break in, but uh, one of the big problems, right? It's trying to break out. It, it takes a while, right? So we're going to figure out if we could actually use the broom and if we'll just punch through it or if we're just going to be stuck in here. Three, two, one, go. Yes, it works. And we got a nice free rotation. See you later, guy who was just waiting outside my 2,500 health armored wall. Peace. But what about the other way around? What if we want to use the broom to get into an armored build? It's supposed to be the most overpowered thing in the game right now, so I guess we're gonna put that to the test. All right, Sammy, come over here. Ah, uh, let's give it a try. Okay, yeah, maybe not as OP as they once were. There you have it. Don't ever get rid of that broom in your inventory. It is now more useful than you could ever imagine, and this myth is confirmed. Can you launch pad Grizabella or the caretaker? All right, the most annoying thing in season eight right now is getting jump scared by Grizabella. She doesn't yeah. give up, she follows us everywhere. So we thought, is it even possible for her to follow us on a launch pad? Come on, don't be scared. Oh, here we are. Come on, you know you want some, you ready? Let's see if it works. And it works. She doesn't glide or redeploy, but she actually does launch. Let's go. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect that one to work. I mean, it was kind of derpy. She didn't really have a glider or anything, but it still worked. And so what I really want to know though, if this worked, could you launch pad a caretaker? Okay, so now we got the caretaker, but this time we're gonna do it with the IO launch pad because obviously these don't break. And that's kind of the problem with the caretaker is he just breaks everything he touches. So we're gonna try it out. All right, he's making the sideways. Here we go. Yeah, it activates, but it doesn't work. Yeah, even when he's a shadow, it just like, it pretends to launch, but he's just too big of a guy. I can't handle it. I wanted this one to work so bad, but unfortunately, myth busted. Can the scythe save you from fall damage? All right, right now there's a bug that gives you fall damage even if you're using the scythe. So basically, if you do a leap attack off of something high, you will still take damage right now and die. So I thought, can you actually save yourself using the same trick instead? Okay, we are definitely gonna die if we fall, but if we use it last second, let's figure out what happens. Ready? And 
No! We survived! Oh my god, you can break all fall damage with the scythe. Let's go. This thing is so OP. Yeah, even though it's a little bit buggy, the scythe can actually save you from falling to your death. Just make sure you do it last minute, all right? Myth confirmed. Can you boogie bomb animals or llamas? With the unvaulted LTM being available last week, we thought we'd go in and try out some of the new stuff. And one of those classic unvaulted items was the boogie bomb. So now that it's back in game, we wanted to know if it would work on things they were never designed for. So we tried this thing on a raptor and a frog, and they actually got the boogie symbol above them, but they didn't start dancing though, which really kind of sucks. So then we tried it on a loot llama, and yeah, it didn't work. The myth is busted. I just really wanted to see a dinosaur bust a move, okay? But can you shadow stone under the water? So we got ourselves some shadow floppers recently and asked a question that no one is talking about. Can we actually use them to hide underneath the water? So here is your shadow flopper and we're gonna figure out if we can actually stay at the bottom of the ocean or if it just pushes us back up. You ready for this? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it actually kind of works. Yeah, wait, what? I'm taking damage. But you can fully swim underwater with the shadows. That's actually pretty cool. I tried to find the foundation, guys, but Fortnite just drowns you instead. Either way, though, you can use them underwater for a good amount of time, so I'm actually counting this one as myth confirmed. Who will win in a fight, the caretaker or an NPC? I'm not gonna lie, I love experimenting with the caretaker, so we thought we'd try an age-old tradition on this series. It's awesome taking NPCs over to fight new enemies, and we thought we'd do the same thing here. I mean, who wouldn't want to see a hot dog fighting a siren head? So, we let a caretaker over to the brat NPC and made them start fighting. We stood there for like 10 minutes straight watching these guys battle and started to think they weren't even doing damage against each other. The last few times we tried this, the NPC has always come out on top, but this time around, the caretaker actually took the brat out and won the fight. Finally, the NPCs have a worthy battle. This myth is busted. Can you get into the redacted bunker in shadow form? All right, since we found out that we could actually go underwater while in shadow form, we wanted to get into an even more unbreachable area. Got our shadow fish, here we go. Nice flobbers. All right, ready, we're gonna eat them. And now we try to phase it. Oh, ooh. See, can't we at all? It doesn't look like it right now. I don't know, maybe we could get into a corner or something. Come on, IO, let us in. Let us in. Dr. Slow, please, I don't wanna die in the loop. We used to be able to do it last year. I don't understand why we can't do it this year, man. Come on, Epic Games. You gotta fix all the glitches. Now, nah, unfortunately, you can't glitch into the redacted bunker just because you ate a fish. I wish it was simple like that with the truck glitch, but I guess we'll just have to keep waiting to find out what's inside. Myth busted. Can you shockwave monsters or the cube assassin out of the sideways? All right, the sideways could be incredibly annoying sometimes, especially with all the cube monsters on top of the cube assassin. But what if it could be easier? What if you could fight the cube assassin without all of the other annoying monsters? We're here at our next myth, and like I said, I wonder if we could start flinging any of these guys out, so. Uh, well, that one didn't work. Let's try again. Let's try different people. Well, they fling. So basically, if you shoot them while they're in the sideways, it just shoves them right out and they disintegrate. Keep assassin, keep assassin. Okay, you guys ready? So I'm gonna try to bounce her out. You ready? Yep. Ah. Peace. Oh, she's outside the sideways. She's not dying. She Why did she not die like the rest of them? Gotta admit, I wasn't expecting the cube assassin to survive outside of the sideways. Yeah, myth surprisingly confirmed. But also kind of a waste of a perfectly good shockwave launcher, though. Is there a squid game boss? Okay, there's a huge rumor going around right now that Epic has added a squid game boss to the map. And obviously, it's not true. I mean, I wish it was, but come on. Despite that, some people still think that there might be a squid game boss on the map. And it doesn't help that everyone's clickbaiting it. So we even went around the whole island for you and searched. And obviously, we could have found one because it ain't real. Sadly, myth busted. And our final myth, can you use Mystique's emote on Grizabella or the Cube Assassin? Okay, so Grizabella is literally the files right now as a skin and she is completely modeled and on the map right now so we thought could we get this unreleased skin early let's uh let's kill her Ooh, not exactly the hardest thing to kill i guess now let's go ahead and use our mystique's emo and we're gonna figure out if we could become an unreleased skin nope we're a default yeah, not gonna lie, a little disappointed this didn't work, but I was not finished yet. So we went over to the sideways and tried it on the cube assassin. All right, let's kill her, you ready? All right, got her, you dead? Me thirst there? All right, now we get out of the sideways. Go, 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 go. All right, and let's try it out. Come on, please, don't be a default. Please don't be a default. It works, it actually works. We get to play as the cube assassin, let's go. All right, now. They shouldn't attack us because we're their overlord, right? Yeah, I'm your overlord. You won't attack me. Look at that. And yes, we are ending on a high note because this myth is confirmed. 
Thanks for watching episode two of our season eight miss videos. It's been Tommy and keep it here on top five gaming.